I think at the back of my mind, I perhaps did have an ambition maybe to one day be a broadcaster. My father was a Methodist minister, so he was preaching and he had a good voice. And he also got me into football. As a, as a young boy, he took me to lots of games and lots of different grounds, and I really developed a love of the game. And then in 1971, the legendary Kenneth Wollstonehome left the BBC, and I joined Match of the Day in September of that year. I was really propelled into perhaps a few people's minds by the fact that I then covered the famous Hereford Newcastle United Cup shock. And then as time went on, people found my voice acceptable and from what they tell me today, quite recognisable. The most memorable match I ever did was when England won 5-1 in Germany in the World Cup qualifier in 2001. Michael Owen's hat-trick, when I said it's getting better and better and better, um, that, that was a night that I, I'd never experienced that before with an England game and I don't think I have since. It does feel as though I've been doing this job for an awful long time, I suppose 50 years in, in total. It doesn't seem very different from the day I started in the sense that the demands of the job are very similar, it's still a great challenge. There's things about commentating I shall miss, like picking up the microphone at five to three on a Saturday, the adrenaline rush of that. Perhaps I shan't miss so much all the agony that goes into the preparation and the travelling, that will be a bit of a relief I think. But when the time comes, I've been determined to be absolutely cool about it. It is the stage that I've probably worked on as frequently as any other. And uh, going up the stairs to that commentary position, I can sort of do that in my sleep almost, although I won't be doing it this year. But as my career draws to an end, I would have been very disappointed had I not had a chance to work for the last time at Wembley. I'm not saying it's goodbye forever, because I'm still going to come here as a, as a spectator, because, which I do for all the England games but uh, it's been part of my life.